in our last video we have seen how to see all the parameters associated with any elements if you have not watched that video you can watch it by going to our channel and go to the playlist of dynamo you can also find that video on i button in this video we will see different storage types of revit elements and also we will see how to know different storage types for these parameters so in revit you will see there are these uh, five type of storage uh, first one is none basically that is invalid storage type second one is integer and that is nothing but a 32 bit integer next one is double that is 8 byte floating number point and then string which is very common in any language that is string of character and last one is element id that is the ids of any element so we have to know for which parameter storage type is string for which parameter storage type is element id for which parameter storage id is a double like this for this go to the library again just drop down just click on this revit and go to elements here go to parameter and and here you will see storage type just click on this this node this will be needed and for your information this plus button is for creation this is for action and this is for query now input of this node is parameter which we will get from here and output is string basically this will be a list so let's connect this parameter to parameter and run go to auto and just pin it see our additional flow that is double area that is also double category that is element id see 9 is string 9 that is export to ifc as you can see height is integer 16 basically we are getting the data of same sequences like 0 1 2 3 4 5 same sequence 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and knowing the storage type is so much important and useful when you are building a long script so i hope this video is helpful to you in next video we will see value of any particular parameters using this storage type so if this video is helpful to you please like this video share this video and subscribe to our channel thank you